we are the Voorhees Town Center, formerly known as the Echelon Mall. Look at this. Yeah, if you look in the uh, in the wall, you can see there's two stores that used to occupy this area: Straw Bridges and Macy's. This is from the old Straw Bridges. Uh, it's a Straw Bridge and Clothier uh, seal of confidence. William Penn. Shaking hands with the Native Americans over there in uh, Penn Treaty Park in Fishtown. And there's the uh, 1970. Not a cornerstone, because it's not in the corner, but there. It, what's, what's it called when it's not a cornerstone? If you look, here is uh, the old straw bridges. And over here is a bunch of apartments. And right down here is a little strip of some new stores. We're going to check that out. Before we go exploring the rest of the Voorhees Township, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to explore the deadest mall in America. If not the deadest, it has to be in the top, top 10. That's the uh, the food court. So since the mall is dead, the township of Voorhees has taken over this like corner of the mall, and they have like their courthouse. You get your certificates here, your death certificates, your birth certificates, zoning. So this is like their city hall is the mall. Oh, look at this. There you go. There's Santa just having a good time. Look at the, look at the line. <laughs> All the way. All right. So I was here last year, and I'm going to tell you, there's already more stores right. this year. There's already more stores this year than there were last year. They they have these decorations on the ground. Maybe they're supposed to be hung up. I don't know, but. This is just a tripping hazard. They really shouldn't. There it is. The Karate Dojo, let's see. So I'm filming this on a Friday afternoon at 2 p.m. There you go. Happy Dallas week to everybody. Just remember, Dallas Cowboys suck. They will always suck. The last time they won the Super Bowl was in the 90s. When this mall was popular. Yeah, so so we got a karate dojo, bath and body works, there's a furniture store. Ooh, the Voorhees Art Gallery. If you want information on the boxing gym here. You have to go to the Karate Dojo. Okay. Let's check out the food court here. At the Echelon Mall Palm Trees. Please clean up your tables and the floors. And they actually have something in the food court. I think that was a Chick-fil-A. What is right here? Yeah. 
And the mall is open 10 to 7, Monday through Saturday. Uh-oh. Here, <laughs> here is uh, advertising for the Karate Dojo, which is right across the street here. That's good. This is the Echelon Mall. This is where you go to shop, dine, and play. Yeah, there's two floors to this mall. There's another pile of gifts just thrown. Yeah. And at the opposite end of the courthouse in Santa Claus, you find Boscoff's. Pretty much, I feel like this mall is here for people to do mall walking. Good place to do some indoor activities while it's cold out. And this Boscoff's is kind of like, check out like the neon. It's like stuck in the uh, 70s, I guess. This is when it was built, but the mall was built in the 70s. Yeah, I love the neon in here. All right, here we are back at the mall, second floor. Uh oh. Here it is. Oh, I found the spot. Here's the spot. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder I wonder how much the rent in this place is. So, here's a map of what used to be here. And uh, there's Macy's, there's the food court. Look at all the stores. T-Mobile, Variety, there's not even a cell phone store in here. Yeah. Bathroom review. That's uh, it's actually... Not too shabby. They don't have paper towels, you gotta use the hand blowers. Here's the uh, management office, and they're closed. Just thinking about how bad the Christmas decorations are. Like, they sort of tried. Like, I think that's supposed to be up there, but it's here. <laughs> they, just, they just threw a stocking and some snow in a planter. Oh, here's another one. <laughs> There's a... Oh, well. There's some moles that don't decorate. And then this mole... Here it is, the Camden County store. So it's not only Voorhees Township, it's Camden County. So I guess the township is in the county. And this is the grand opening of the furniture store at the old Strawbridge and Clothier. Wow. 
I'm not going to go in there. Well, they got a dentist here. Okay. Santa. Just talking on the phone. He said, you believe I get paid by the hour to do this? So, after you get done taking photos with Santa Claus, you can actually come to this little uh, days to remember. They do party rentals. Anything you need for a party decor, you come here. They can help you out. But after you take your pictures with Santa, you come in here and you can have a photographic opportunity. Look at this. You come here, you you sit down, and you can pretend that you like your family. You can take a happy photo, or uh, you can stay in here. Now, there are spots in Philadelphia where they have it so you could set up and take a Christmas photo. And it will cost you $25 to go in just to take a picture like this. This is free. You can come in here, and then uh, if I wanted to follow you on Instagram, where would I follow you at? Days, D A Y S, the number two, remember pro. And how long have you been here? We've been here since April. And you said that you're the girl that's going to save this mall. Yeah, we're bringing this mall back. Okay, well, you know what? There are more stores in this mall this year, this time, than there were last year, this yeah. time. The, the, the uh, furniture store in your store. And the top guy. Oh, is, is he new? Wow, okay. Yeah. And then are they going to like. Do you hear of any new stores moving in anytime soon? Yeah, so there's, um, there's actually going to be like a Halloween kind of experience happening. Across the, way. across the way? All year round or just Halloween? So he's going to be all the time. Um, so we actually did the, all of the displays going down here. Yeah, I see that there's all types of groups all throughout the mall. So yeah. it's like a community center. So like services is a good spot. So anybody looking that like has, that does services. Okay. And do, do you get a lot of people coming in here taking pictures? Yeah, we do. That's cool. We're seeing a lot of foot traffic for this. And then we're doing a balloon bar here where people can actually come and do like their own balloons. We're t we'll teach them how to do a balloon garland. Moms are always trying to get that pretty affordable. So, Do you have like a, a page where you show people how to do that? Is that like when you're Insta? So, uh, not so much on the Instagram, but yeah, we, we, we'll hold that like on Friday nights. Oh, here. Night. You got to come yeah. here. She's not going to show you online how to do the balloon. You got to come here to do it. And then, uh, yeah, okay. Well, listen, I hope you have a holly jolly. Do you wear, like, do you get dolled up every day in the, the festive gear? Yes, yes, because we're real elves. How many, uh, how many Christmas sweaters do you own? Um, too many. And they're going to have, this is the Halloween display she was talking about. And they're going to have, like, a, some type of haunted house type. Mm. All right, here's the one more rat. Right? This is probably the first time in like six years two people have ridden the escalator at the same time, right? Who aren't together? Like families have done this, I'm sure, but two strangers riding the escalator at the same time here at the Echelon. Let's check out the rest of the town. I love, I love these lights outside of this mall. I love it. All right. All right. We're outside the mall. And now we're going for a scoop. Look at this. There's the Christmas tree. And we're just going to check out the little strip of stores here. They also have uh, some apartment buildings. There's a little sign talking about the... Here's a sign from the Echelon Airfield. Um, that The uh, airfield was here from 19... 39 to 1962 there aren't any signs of the airfield left and that's why they named the old mall the echelon mall but now no now they have echelon road so they still keep the memory alive of the old airfield so you go outside the mall they have this strip of stores you got a a bar a restaurant travel i could someone explain to me how these travel places are still open? Like, who who needs it? 
You just go online and book everything. It's so easy. So, yeah, this looks like mostly restaurants. Yogurt Land, Pizza, Artisan Pizza, Brazilian Steakhouse. There's some yoga. I got to be careful. I'm not in Philadelphia. I could get pulled over for riding my scooter the wrong way. Hot yoga. No, thank you. Let's see. Are these things open? That's... This gym... This gym's closed and it has the equipment still inside of it. That can't be good. And this is the Foster Square. These are the apartments attached with the uh, mall. So I, I don't think any of the stores on this side that I'm passing right now None of them are open. Some of them may be seasonal. There was like an ice cream shop, but I don't think anything was open. That yoga shop, hot yoga, might be open, but what? All right. Well, that's it. That's my little video around the Echelon Mall, a.k.a. What do they call it? The Voorhees Township. The Voorhees Town Center. That's what they call it. And uh, I appreciate you joining me for this video. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up, right? That's important. And while you're at it, hit subscribe. Don't forget to check out my merch. My merch, unlike the Christmas decorations in here, it's fire. Uh, you want to help me out? I have a link in every video to my Patreon. Uh, you get bonus videos, early previews. No large gatherings today, please. So we can't. We can't handle it. We have... We have so many tables and chairs, no large gatherings. Uh, I have a Patreon. Yeah, so anyway, if you're a Patreon member, the November postcards went out. And actually, I'm filling out the December postcards now. You might get them a little earlier this year, this, this month. So sign up for Patreon. And uh, I got merch. Get yourself a Philly Captain t-shirt. Give the gift that gives all year round a t-shirt. I'm also doing holiday greetings on Cameo. You can book me on Cameo, and I can wish anybody a happy Christmas, a merry Hanukkah, a joyous Kwanzaa, a uh, happy New Year. You got it. You know the holidays, right? And uh, you can book me on Cameo for that. And uh, I, do, I go live on YouTube every so often, and I don't leave the live streams up very long. Um... But if you want to watch uh, my live streams, all you got to do is click that join button. It's $1.99. It's a great way to help the channel. Oh, that's how they... All right. That's probably how they decorate the mall. The guy just sweeps up stuff and just puts it in the pile. That's why all the gifts are on the floor. All right. Well, make sure you hit like and subscribe, and I'll sail with you later. Toodles!